and welcome to Fresh Dialogue. I'm Allison Van Dickelen, talking to you from Silicon Valley, California. Fresh Dialogues is an interview series with a green focus. Hello and welcome to Fresh Dialogues. I'm Allison Van Dickelen. Today I'll be interviewing Barry Cinnamon, CEO and founder of Akina Solar. Thanks for watching. I would like to thank you for being on Fresh Dialogues today. It's my pleasure. And what about Arnold Schwarzenegger? You said that he's been one of the biggest advocates for solar power. Do you feel he has done enough or could do more at this stage right now? Um, he's Nobody's ever done enough. Mm -hmm. um, what so would you have him do? I could get political right now. And what I would have him do is pick up the phone and talk to Meg Whitman and Steve Poisoner <laughs> and yes. tell them to back off their inane commentary about AB 32. And they're right. You know, the, the policy of the Republican governor candidate, gov governor candidates is we want to suspend AB 32 because it's um, it's it's killing jobs. Yeah. And, and that's just prima facie false. Mm. Absolutely. You know, I can I can probably, you know, in an hour give you a list of several thousand people I know who have been employed in the state's um, energy field and who are very dependent on the RPS and AB 32 and, and California's efforts to do that. And I, I can't give I can't think of a single person or a single situation where people lost their jobs because of, of this AB 32. It's a completely specious argument. So. Um, you know, message to Governor Schwarzenegger, fantastic work that he's done on behalf of solar. Even when he was a candidate, he believed in this and he really delivered on that promise. Um, but as a leader of the Republican Party, I'd, I'd encourage him to um, work out a little bit on uh, of the Republican candidates and explain to them that our state and Silicon Valley have become leaders in clean tech because of the state's strong support for energy and it would be disastrous. Um, if that were suspended in any way. Do you think the spoilers, the people who want to suspend AB 32 might be successful or do you think there's no hope? Well, the, the, the entities that are um, supporting that repeal AB 32 measure are oil and gas companies. Yes. So can they be successful? I can, I, they can be very successful. Um, they successfully fought a ballot initiative, I think, to um, tax uh, oil extraction in the state, which is, you know, once again, it's oil's a commodity. If you put a tax on it, it's not going to change one one penny of the price of gas at the pump. Um, but it would be a lot of revenue for the state. But simply, that income would come out of the pockets of the oil companies. Do you think this issue might galvanize pro clean tech, pro solar politicians and business people? Do you see the silver lining in what they're doing? Um, I don't know if there's much of a silver lining. I'd, I'd say that, that that policy is going to galvanize you know, every person and every company involved in clean tech to vote for Jerry Brown. Right. And I think that's a good thing. Okay. Okay. And um, widening it further, what about President Obama? Do you feel he's doing enough from the White House to make clean tech a focus and clean energy a focus? He's... he's um, he, the comparison between what he is doing and what was happening the previous eight years is a miracle. It's miraculous. Can he do more? Absolutely, yes. And I'd love to see him do more. He's well, got would some. Would you have him do if you could ask for one thing from President Obama that would help not just your company but clean tech in general? Is there is there one thing? Would it be a gas tax, for example? What, what would be the one thing that would be that would move us beyond tipping point here? Well, the, the one um, economically rigorous thing that, that he could do would be to put um, a, a carbon tax in place or a cap and trade in place that, that would have meaningful numbers on it. Um, that's going to be really hard to do in any meaningful way. Um, so I, I think that's kind of like a nice global suggestion, but it's a real long shot as far as happening fast or being successful. Harry Cinema and I wish you the best and thank you very much for talking on Fresh Dialogues All today. right, my pleasure, Allison. Okay. It's a great interview. Thank you. Check out FreshDialogues.com for interviews with Paul Krugman, Martin Sheen, Tom Friedman and many others.